Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Guys, today is a big day. It's the day we've been waiting for. The entire team of the year for the men and the women will be in packs at the same time on FC24. It is a day where a lot of people will start opening packs to try to pack all of these insane cards. And with that, a lot is going to be happening on this game today. In relation to these cards, are their prices going to drop? Should you look to buy them if you want one for your team? What's going to happen to the rest of the market? And what other content are we going to get today? As well as leaks, because we have more leaks and information about cards coming tomorrow with Team of the Year Honorable Mentions on Friday. And we're getting a new season today. We're going to talk about that as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content really quick and start with an evolution that won't take much time to cover at all. The Team of the Year Legendary Comeback might be the least completed evolution that EA have, will drop this entire year based on how it looks. 200,000 coins or 1,000 FC points for seven different cards. Guys, there are seven icons that fit this evolution. Nesta is probably the best one. I don't know, man. You look at this upgrade and tell me if you think that's worth 200k. I think it's only worth it if you have that card already in the club and it's an emotional icon for you, some sort of connection for your football fandom because for me, all seven icons that fit into this are not worth the 200,000 coins. 1% upvoted, guys. Yeah, I don't know. There's not much else to say there. So GG's EA for dropping that evolution that I think not too many people will go for. But if you find that nice, then go for it. Let's talk about the SBC content that we had. We had the League One Player of the Month, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And actually, this SBC, in my opinion, isn't half bad. They boosted him over the radioactive version that a lot of us did earlier on this year. And they changed up some of the stats on the card. Five-star weak foot boost. That's pretty dope. They also gave him Quick Step Plus. As you remember, his radioactive card has rapid plus which fits him very well because he is very high in sprint speed and low in acceleration with also a controlled lengthy accelerate type which definitely as you think about an bombing type player fits him over a uh, sprint speed type of longer running since he's tall again that just fits a bombing right he's faster in those parts of the pitch but now with the quick step plus his acceleration is probably going to be a lot better which that combination of quick um he's got quick step plus but also low acceleration and high sprint speed might make this card pretty interesting now the price isn't that great i think he's right around 180,000 coins but again while we're opening all these upgrade packs while we're opening save packs he might be pretty craftable and just, you know what, there's stuff around this time of the year that you just end up completing because you have so much fodder. You're like, where do I put it? This is another SBC where you could put some of that extra fodder. So it's there. It's not great, but it is there. And we also had the 83.5 Defenders, which was expected, but wasn't what wasn't expected was the fact that we could only do it one time. One time, really? Like, did EA see how many people opened these two days ago when they dropped the defenders in packs and said, they said, nah, it's too good. Only let them do it one time instead of three, like the attackers and midfielders. I don't know. I was hoping to be able to do this three times, and we only were allowed to do it once. It's going to refresh once more time today at the content drop, so I guess watch out for that. That's cool. Um, but that was a bit of a surprise. It's one 86-rated player and then an 84-rated squad. And um, yeah, so I guess we'll take it, but that was a bit surprising to see that yesterday. And probably the biggest SBC content was not a, a new SBC. It was the refresh of the 88-plus Icon Player pick and you can only do it one more time again it refreshes in a couple of days but this is making sbc fodder move right remember it was the 86s the 87s and the 88s that moved very very well for this last time and if you take a look at the fodder market that is where stuff is up 87s guys are like 17,000 coins which is almost max price a lot of these have a 17 to 18,000 coin max price range and like they are there which is crazy right it honestly is wild during team of the year and especially with about about the, the pack supply we're about to have it's going to really hurt these cards if you have 85s 86s or 87s for sure i would think about selling these cards because they are going to get supplied today from the saved up packs as of course they have gone up about a thousand coins since yesterday 9.2 on araujo up to 11k is 10.5 right now that is a part of the market where i would be selling. I would 100% be selling, um, especially if it was an investment for you. GG's, you're making some profit, and I would sell. I would also say sell for the 88s, 89s, and 90s because I honestly think that, guys, today we're going to get a lot of pack supply, but specifically for the 86s and below, even the 87s too, I would get out on 85s too. I would sell those cards because today we are going to get a lot of supply. 
and that is going to make those prices go down. Let's talk a little bit more about yesterday content to close things out. We had a brand new team of the week, which every single team of the week in here, except for Malin, is literally fodder price. Now, Malin has a little bit of hype because he fits into the finisher Evo, I believe. Um, the finisher 100,000 coin tree Vela plus Evo. So it's not a five star skill Malin like um, M9, as people call his uh, other evolution versions, but that is a last minute dynamic image version you can put into the finisher Evo. Lauren James, Jota, part of Team of the Week, as well as Basha. All those cards are going to get supplied a lot. Uh, last thing to really point out is we have a title update that is upcoming for PS4 and Xbox, and then also it's going to be on other platforms in the near future. A lot of people are wondering, is this Evo, is this trying to patch the unclaimed Evo situation and fix that stuff on this game? I guess we won't know until it drops. We will have to see. Now, let's get into today, right? All the excitement around today. Before we get there, into Team of the Year cards, what's happening in packs today and all that, we have a new season that's coming today as well, which is a big part of content. Season 4 Act 1, Fanfare is the name of it, right? It's been promoted here in the menus for a little bit now. And one thing we notice about this is, of course, the card designs that we see. Team of the Year Honorable Mentions and Winter Wild Cards icons. Guys, watch out for players, right? That would tell me that we're probably going to have a Winter Wild Card icon and some sort of Team of the Year Honorable Mentions players in the season progression that is going to be starting today as we all reset our XP levels at Rivals Rewards today. So watch out for that. I mean, for the icons they would be giving us, I'm thinking like Lineker, Van Basten, like kind of a middle tier, lower tier sort of card. But hopefully one big change that we see with this is the change to Champs Rewards. They said they were going to change them. And I'm assuming that they're not um, updated right now because it wouldn't make sense. The season hasn't ended yet when I record this video. But watch Champs Rewards today to see how and if they change they said they're going to so watch out for that and also this is nice because this means a new season level resetting we're going to have extra opportunities to get more packs to grind the game a little bit more to get xp and get that kind of season progression maybe some team of the year related or themed um tifos and all that sort of stuff in there as well so i know that a lot of this will be updated and you'll be able to see it by the time you watch this video but that is coming today as well and that's just you know it is what it is that's cool not a problem for me but watch out for those weekly rewards because that will be very, very interesting for sure. Now, let's talk about Team of the Year Day today, guys. The full Team of the Year is coming into packs. Well, what does that mean exactly, right? How long are they going to be in packs? I think some people are still a little bit confused. The timetable for Team of the Year is always a little interesting, right? Because some of them are out, then they're in, then they're out, then they're in. And they're all coming back in today, guys. All of the Team of the Year, the starting 11 for the men and the women will be in packs today. 22 Team of the Year cards will be in packs. That is the expectation. And they should be in packs for like, I don't know, 8, 9, 10 days, somewhere in that time frame. They will be in packs until basically the end of next week. Eight days, I think, is what it was last year because Team of the Year ended on a Friday. Um, the Friday after Team of the Year Honorable Mentions was released. So that's kind of the expectation for today. And that's why it's a huge day because all 22 Team of the Year cards are in packs. We'll get more tomorrow on Friday and we'll talk about that. But this is a day where a lot of people go and open safe packs. You might be like, Nate, we talked about this a little bit already, right? Do people open packs before Honorable Mentions and stuff like that is actually in packs? Yes, man. Last year, it happened to like crazy on Thursday. There were so many saved packs that were open. So many people were opening the store packs, the lightning rounds. Today will be a massive day of packs. Now, I know I'm saving a lot of my packs for tomorrow and Friday and into the weekend, especially some of the bigger packs, right? And you can kind of look at this multiple different ways, however you want to look at it. But with all the team of the years being in packs today, right, with the starting 11 and stuff like that, it might be a decent time to start working through those premium league upgrades because if you were waiting for say i don't know both teams of icons to be out in packs whenever that happens most likely sunday right for team of the year icon one and team two to be back in packs along with the honorable mentions maybe some of those really top tier like 83 20 84 20 type packs that you have maybe wait until sunday to open those it seems like a long time but if you've got a bunch of premium upgrades to open up as well start opening those start ripping those i'm probably going to try to get to some of those today i'll have to open a few packs as you can see i've got a bunch of these upgrades that are hiding back behind all of my bigger packs that are at the front i'll open some 83 10s today i'll open those so that i can get back to the league upgrades and start crafting with these because these feel like it's worth opening at least in my opinion today on this game and maybe saving some of the bigger packs but it's up to you right if you've waited and you're like nate i want the best chance at just packing team of the years i don't want honorable mentions to be a part of it to maybe mess up the weight or whatever you're thinking then 
go for it, right? I would say go for it for you today. It's kind of up to you. Um, and then, yeah, if you guys are interested in Team of the Year icons as well, yeah, let's let's touch on this really quick because there's a lot of confusion with the icons as well. I think, guys, that EA is following the schedule that they did last year. And what they did last year was Team of the Year icons teams too, which you can see on the loading screen. It's behind the camera right here. These cards are going out of packs at Friday content time. They will not be in packs when the honorable mentions come in. There will be no Team of the Year icons. If EA do it like they did last year. There will be no icons in packs starting Friday at 6 p.m. UK tomorrow. It'll just be honorable mentions and the team of the year cards and then on sunday they'll put team one and this team two back into packs and then everything will be in packs for the rest of that week for like five days so that's kind of the schedule that we are expecting now how is this going to impact the market today with all the team of the years coming into packs well last year uh the prices did drop and then they went up a lot afterwards and that's what a lot of people are i think expecting for this year but guys i really do believe that this year might be a little bit different right we've been come kind of comparing it to the pack weight almost of like fifa 22 like these these cards seem genuinely packable the women's cards are definitely more packable than the men's just look at the prices and look at the rarity on the market i still don't know how Teo hernandez is 3.7 million coins and the fact that virgil van dyke got his price range updated and he is 9 million is disgusting. This is the second most expensive team of the year card behind Kylian Mbappe, who's extinct at 15 mil. That's crazy. And it's just due to rarity, guys. Like, I think this VVD is going to drop off a lot today. I would not want to own that card, but he just looks crazy expensive. I know VVD is just him in this year's game for sure, but like, wow, that's a crazy price for a team of the year defender, one that we have never seen before in this game. His 99 rated card in FIFA 20 or 21 was still like four or five million coins, and this is nine mil. Like, nah, that's crazy. That's not going to last. It shouldn't last. Um, I hope people don't want to pay that much for that card, but who knows? Um, I do expect these cards to drop off today. I do because we're getting supply guys. And what we have seen with the releases of the positional releases is these cards are actually semi-packable. Like even the middle to top tier ones, they're semi-packable. Look, the KDB was down to 2.2 mil. Now this is not because of pack supply. This was some panic selling yesterday. He was down to 2.3, 2.2. He's back up to like 2.6. Now I wouldn't be surprised if he drops back down to that range or maybe even lower right since these cards seem semi-packable let me show you what happened to fifa 22 the last time that team of the year cards seemed actually packable compared to other previous years when the full team um came into packs on that thursday kdb was 2.4 mil he dropped down in the next two days to 1.9 million coins and then kind of went up a little bit later on after that but then really didn't rise as much right Messi, another example from that same year went from 4.3 mil down to 3.4 and then it ended up going back up a little bit in the week afterward i'm not saying it's going to be the exact carbon copy of what happened in fifa 22 and i don't think it's going to be a carbon copy that happened last year right last year on thursday i remember benzema team of the year was 1.8 mil and then exploded to 2.1 the same night on thursday even before people opened their packs on friday i don't think that sort of thing is going to happen today but i do think that some of these cards will fluctuate um, and man, I, I think EA is going to be running lightning rounds. I think there's going to be store packs and there's going to be supply. I think these cards will drop for a couple of hours and then maybe have a couple of bounces from there, especially the men's cards, right? As we see, they are just more rare on the market. So if you're looking to buy a men's team of the year player for your team, I think it's between tonight on Thursday and tomorrow on Friday. If you want to wait and see what comes out tomorrow and get even more pack supply you could wait for that because there will be drops again tomorrow. It's really just going to depend on how much these cards drop. Like if KDB goes down to like 2 million flat today, then it's like, oh man, they're getting packed a lot. And then you have to decide, do I buy it today? Because it's down a lot, like 600K would be down a lot. Or do I wait for tomorrow when there's going to be more lightning rounds? There's going to be more cards in packs that people will open packs for again but you run the risk of waiting for tomorrow. The risk is that people open packs today on Thursday, they'll start to get their coins and go and buy these cards and they could get inflated a little bit. So that's kind of like the pendulum swing that we're on here. Do you buy the cards today and think, okay, people have coins and they're rare, they're gonna start going up or do you see how packable they are? And you're like, nah, they're going to get packed more tomorrow. That's really a decision we're going to have to make today as we see these cards pop up on the market and watch, especially to the panic selling. 
on these cards. So that's kind of how we're going to go about it today, I think. And we'll be watching the card prices live on stream. It'll be a fun day. But I do expect basically all these cards to drop. I know some of them have dropped, like the KDB was down yesterday, kind of back up. Frimpong is down now. Uh, Allison is down. You look at the women's team of the year. Um, you've got like Renard's 1.3. Like that's a lot lower. Karchawi's 1.2 million coins. Puteas is 5 mil flat. A lot of them have dropped for sure. And I think we're just waiting to see how the pack supply hits today. There will be pack supply today 100% sent so that's kind of the whole situation let's talk market a little bit as well because like we just mentioned people are opening packs we said it in yesterday's video as well but to reiterate it today guys watch maybe i don't know winter wild cards players some of those more meta players that are on the market that um you think people are going to want to go to buy for their teams just using puteas as an example i know she has a team of the year that people could be packing today but Keep an eye on out-of-pack special cards because I remember specifically last year, even on this day Thursday, that some of those cards started to go up. Again, that had to do with how unpackable the team of the years were last year. People got coins. They were like, nah, man, I can't pack these cards, and their prices are just flying. So the rest of the market really went up, and it went up a lot. Um, just watch the out-of-packs market today. I think there could be some rebounds because there's more coins coming to the market. Um, I'm not going to be, in my opinion, super looking at the market and invested in stuff. I just think that between today and tomorrow is going to be your low time to pick stuff up for your team. So just watch the card that you want. Watch the prices very closely, especially if it's from a most recent promo team, like the versus cards we know. They're really, really rare. Maybe you want Kingsley Coman. Maybe you want... Uh, Lawrence to link with the pack pulled team of the year, Sam Kerr or something like that. Maybe you want Rodri, right? Wait and see what Rodri's team of the year card does today. If Rodri team of the year goes below like 1.8 or 1.9 mil, then the ice and the fire should drop off a good amount in price as well. So watch the rare stuff, watch the popular stuff because it'll move. People will get coins and they'll go out and they'll buy stuff because there will be demand for those cards. But again, I think tomorrow was a very interesting prospect in this game as well. And speaking of fodder, one last thing to talk about is we got to talk about fodder. Talking about the market and supply, we got to talk about fodder. That's what I was trying to say. Like we mentioned, prices are definitely going to drop today. But if you're like Nate, man, I've opened a lot of packs or maybe I'm waiting for tomorrow to open my packs or maybe even Sunday to open my packs. Here's what I would tell you. If you want to grind the market today, the best thing you can do is get on bids. 87 pluses. We saw this on Friday. 87 and above rated fodder dropped pretty hard dropped pretty hard last friday and what did it do it came roaring right back literally the next night look at this from 33,000 coins like man 33k seems cheap for these right now they went all the way to 30 29,000 coins casemiro did and then zoom went shooting right back up and they've been rising all week long all right yesterday even going almost to 40,000 coins i think for the high rated fodder that's going to be the best place to make bank with all the supply from the lighting rounds that we're going to have the saved up packs get on bids an hour after content not on snipes i would get on bids 100 get some low prices if they drop down a decent amount like if 89s go back to 30 31 000 coins maybe it's only like 33k but i would say get on some bids and then you can stock your club and lazy list those cards and uh they might even go up a decent amount even into tomorrow on friday when you can do it again because people are going to get coins today and they're going to go and do that sbc right they're going to go do the icon player pick right that maybe they couldn't afford yesterday but now they're opening packs and they've got fodder they're going to go start the sbc for sawa best maldini zidane holy eusebio all the crazy sbcs that we have there will be movement there on the market today that might be the best place to get on the market one thing i would say is and one thing that i'm kind of starting to do right now i'm starting to sell some of my team of the weeks um just because I'm, i want to take the cash on these i was able to buy all these for like twenty-seven thousand coins i'm getting some lazies at like 33 34 and a lot of them out at like 32 i think they're all like 30k on the market right now but i think with supply today they probably will drop and um i might just keep selling i only have like maybe five to ten left so i'll just probably get out of these here in the next couple of hours so that i don't have to worry about that heading into today and all the supply. Now, we've looked at some honorable entries. Let's talk a little bit about tomorrow with the leaks because there's going to be more leaks today too, I think, and that could create a little bit of panic on the market. But so far, like yesterday with the leaks that we had, didn't really create a ton of panic, to be honest. It just seems like everybody's waiting for today or tomorrow to open their packs. And here's some of the honorable mentions that we will be able or have a chance to pack come tomorrow. Vinicius Jr., expected, right? 100% expected. 
He had the Thunderstruck card. Now he's going to have an honorable mentions. This is going to be the most expensive card that gets in honorable mentions for sure. It might be more expensive than some team of the years. I'm guessing like two and a half mil, maybe three mil plus for an honorable mentions Vinny. That would be a pretty crack card there. You've got another version of Harry Kane coming as a player item as well. These are predicted stats for all of these cards, but Harry Kane, his team of group stage SBC was such a great card. Excited to see what playstyle plus they would give this Harry Kane. Please give him a shooting one. I mean, imagine Kane with Trivella. That would be insane. Or I don't even know what else they could give him. Power shot like his uh, uh, Trailblazers has. That'd be fantastic as well. He's going to be in packs come tomorrow. Bernardo Silva, really, really insane um, Thunderstruck card this year with the technical plus. And a lot of people, as his first comment says in the tweet here, best left stick dribble in the game without a doubt. He's going to be insane in game. This is a card that will be packable from Premier League upgrades, which is fantastic. And he's going to be really good in game and shouldn't be that expensive. Maybe a couple hundred thousand coins. I think we had a Bernardo Silva either team of the year or maybe I'm thinking of a team of the season Bernardo Silva in like FIFA 18 or 19 that was super cracked. I'm getting those kind of vibes with this card. We've got Kim Min Jae leaked as well. Some people are saying this is our SBC that might be uh, coming out this weekend. Um, that could be a decent SBC for sure. Definitely deserved for the year that he has had, not necessarily at Bayern, but early on in the year in this year. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal. So that could be a card that's coming out in packs, but there's definitely more that we have to get, right? Along with those cards, we looked at Salah, Valverde, Trent Alexander-Arnold. So we're still expecting more leaks. We have questions about, are we going to see women's cards in the... Um, Honorable mentions as well. We're not entirely sure on that. I guess we'll hopefully get some news about that with some more leaks today. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the leaks situation right now. There's no other leaked SBCs besides Conte flashback. And now, is that going to come today? That's the next question. Honestly, guys, it's a Thursday, right? Think about it from EA's perspective. I'm sure they're going to drop a lightning round today. They're going to try to sell packs. But I don't know if it's going to be a big day for content other than that, right? Fridays on this game are always, always big days. Ooh, we have a preview pack. Let's open it. Um, I think that probably uh, we're going to get a SBC for or our SBC for Conte. It seems like it would be the type of SBC that would come out on a Friday. So tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised if we literally had nothing today besides the team of the year cards coming into packs, the refresh of the 83 times 10, 84, 5, all those SBCs that refresh every single day. It might just be that. And then maybe like marquee matchups, maybe they drop another sort of like one day upgrade pack or something, but a lot of these upgrade packs here expire on Friday tomorrow. Also the winter wild cards expires. I got to do four more to get to the next uh, threshold for an extra objective. I'm not completing the whole thing for sure, but that's kind of what I'd watch out for today, guys. It's a really big pack day. That's for sure. And that's what today brings. But tomorrow I think we'll get more menu content, SBC content. I mean, part of the content that's dropping today anyways is the brand new season. So Thursdays are notoriously quiet on this game. And I think that for SBCs and other things might be a little quiet today, but with the full team of the year coming in packs, it is the exact opposite of a quiet day, guys. It is team of the year day, man. And it is exciting to get the entire team of the year in packs. And I hope that each and every one of us gets a taste of team of the year pack pull this year. So if you're excited for team of the year today, if you're opening your packs, or maybe if you're not, drop a like on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. Let's get this from a one to a two or more and pack a team of the year today, guys. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan from Accountant. Peace. Out.